Hello dear friends, is there a change in look? Yes dear friends, if you have very keenly observed the thumbnail for this discussion, obviously you would find a cap here and I have put a cap here as well in the blackboard. So why and how the cap is related to our discussion of adjunct? So let's uh, disclose it here in course of our discussion in this session. Yes, dear friends, I have worn a cap and uh, as I have claimed, there's an adjunct in it, but how it is? With the cap, is there any problem for you to find out who am I? Is there any problem to find out who is there today in this session, in this discussion in Shiksha Mantra? Obviously, you don't have. I'm not going to that point how I'm looking with this cap or not. But if I don't wear it, so what? I would remain the same person sitting in this discussion of Shiksha Mantra. So what is this cap for? This cap is nothing but an ornamentation. Yes, dear friends, it's nothing but an ornament. So sometimes you have to understand this. The cap is not essential, but it adds an information. It's add a dimension to our look. So, in our sentences also, we get some expressions, we get some words, we get some phrases or clauses which add some extra information, which add some extra sense to our sentences and these are called the adjuncts. So, the adjuncts are like those caps that we wear and it doesn't matter whether you are with the cap or without the cap. It's your choice you have the option either to wear it or not but finally what puts it it puts a look to you it puts an extra information about your look so this is what adjuncts are just like those caps so here we have uh, found out a particular uh, dimension for our discussion of uh, adjuncts but what adjuncts are it's really important to find out its definition but before we sit to the definition of adjuncts let me tell you something what does the word adjunct mean obviously the word has come from join adjunct this word has come from the word join so, what does it join? Let's see what Cambridge Dictionary says about adjuncts. According to Cambridge Dictionary, adjunct means something added to or connected to a larger or more important thing. So, added to or connected to. Connected to what? A larger or more important thing. Here is the picture of a branch with some leaves. Now these leaves, they are connected to these branches. And again, these branches are also connected to this bough. So for the leaves, the branches are larger and more important. And for the branches, boughs are larger and more important. So, according to Cambridge Dictionary, adjuncts are just like these leaves. In which way they are like these leaves? They only add an essence to the boughs, to the branches, which are more important. I am not going after it in scientific way. Just have a look at it and think of the look. Okay, so this is how we get the word in dictionary, but it's not all. We have 
more to find out from here so let's see what's waiting here for us in english grammar what does adjunct mean so adjunct if we consider english grammar only in english grammar adjunct is actually an adverb or a phrase and obviously a clause that provides what an extra information in a sentence so how are the informations are extra just consider this train yeah this is a train and uh, you may consider the train to be a sentence a sentence that we produce so here in a train you find a luggage van and also a pantry car a car for luggage and a car for pantry now in each and every train you want to get pantry car the luggage car is essential and uh, it get it in most of the trains uh, but obviously not in local trains or in passenger trains you'd get them in mail trains so luggage pantry these are but some extra information about the sentence that's the train so it doesn't matter whether there's a pantry or not if the pantry isn't there in the train it won't disturb the train and its functions so this is how in english grammar an adjunct is but an extra information so gradually we are nearing to our discussion of the proper picture of an adverb so finally let's find out what an adjunct is in linguistic this is actually an optional or structurally dispensable part of a sentence or clause or phrase that if removed or discarded will not structurally affect the reminder of the sentence so it's like that crown on a head the head is important and not the crown yes dear friends there might be a crown or not but what is important head is important so crown is not an indispensable part of our head it's only an ornamentation so are the adjuncts for a sentence these are options these crowns are but optional you may wear them or you may not but if the crown is there on your head and you remove it you would remain the same person there won't be any change in your character so it happens with our sentences as well adjuncts are also some phrases or some clauses or some adverbs which we add with our sentences and if these adjuncts are dropped there won't be any change in the structure of the sentence the the sentence won't get structurally changed and there also won't be any change in the basic structure and the basic sense of the sentence so these are not indispensable part of a sentence rather these are the dispensable part for a sentence and that's all about what we consider adjunct now would we'll proceed further with this discussion to find out a detail about it so what are these adjuncts and uh, what can be an adjunct an adjunct can be either a single word or a phrase or a clause how it is a single word like this single flower or it can be a phrase like this bunch of flowers or it can be a clause like this garland so as an adjunct we have three options which we may get either a single word 
or a phrase or a clause. But the point is how we use them, where do we get them? So this is the most important point for our discussion now. So let's explore how we get a single word as an adjunct. They will be here tomorrow, this sentence, they will be here tomorrow. And here tomorrow, this is an adverb and it's used as an adjunct in this sentence as we say. But let me clear you one point and uh, let us check how this is a dispensable part of this sentence and how it don't it doesn't disturb the basic structure when we drop it from our sentence how it is they will be here tomorrow and here as we have said this tomorrow it's not so very important and let's discard this from the sentence they will be here they will be here so tomorrow as a part of the sentence is but an information only and this information is essential we can't say that uh, this is not an essential information it's essential but not indispensable because it's only a time that has been referred to here so they will be here tomorrow so this is how we can drop an adjunct without disturbing the basic structure of the sentence and then comes the point phrase they will be here in the morning so in the morning this is also a time and it's also an information when they will be here so this information this phrase is also dispensable it's not so very essential for the basic structure of the sentence and without this information the sentence would mean the same and now there's the clause we have said an uh, adjunct can be a clause as well so here they will be here they will be here when they will be here before you have had your breakfast it's also time it's also time it's adverb of time but it's in the form of a clause and again without this you will get the basic structure they will be here they will be here they will be here just follow the three sentences we have produced here they will be here this is the common structure and this is the basic structure whether we are using tomorrow or in the morning or uh, before you have had your breakfast these are but some informations those are added to the basic structure and with the information without the information or with a change in the information the basic structure remains undisturbed remains unchanged so this is what we call an adjunct this is how we use an adjunct and this is how we find an adjunct in our sentences so now it's time for us to take this discussion a little farther into a little depth tina met tia yesterday now if we consider this sentence yesterday this is the adjunct obviously you can say this without any hesitation that so yesterday is the adjunct here but Tina met Tia. My point is, if I drop yesterday from this sentence, suppose uh, this uh, point is not there, this term is, I am striking it out, just striking it out. Tina met Tia. So here, yesterday is but an extra information, I have dropped it. But what's about Tia? We can't drop it. We can't say Tina met yesterday without considering uh, the information Ti here because this is not an this is the not a uh, dispensable information this is indispensable information yes dear friends we have to find out something some other things which are related here like I met her here now in this sentence here this is not so very important this is an adjunct 
but if I say I will be here, you will find that here is not a dispensable part, rather this is indispensable. I will be here. This information is very much important. Without this information, the sentence will remain incomplete. I will be. I will be. So, what is here? This is but a complement for this sentence. But here this is adjunct. Yes, dear friends, it is very important. You have to find out whether we have used a complement or an adjunct. You cannot drop a complement. You can drop an adjunct. Without the adjunct, there won't be any change in the structure or in the basic sense of the sentence. But without the complement, the sentence would get disturbed. So, it's very important to understand whether this is a complement or this is an adjunct. But most of the time, most of the time it is said, uh, you will find the discussion everywhere. Uh, if you Google, you will find adjuncts gets related to adverbs. But the fact is adjuncts are not all about adverbs. They also have some other domain in their sentences where they get connected. So, we would have a detailed discussion regarding adjuncts and their profiles etc etc in the next part of our video. But for this, for our discussion today, would only keep to the fact that we have to understand what is adjuncts, how they are used, where they are used, what are their forms and how are they dispensable. And sometimes the same word can be is indispensable for some sentences and there they are not adjunct. So, it is very important to understand the difference between complement and adjunct. Obviously, if you want a little discussion regarding the difference between complement and adjuncts and how to find out which one is complement and which one is adjunct, write to me in the comment section below. And obviously, I will discuss a lot about adjuncts and complements, their differences and how to find them out. So, this is something that uh, is uh, obviously very, very important for us. But now, let me present two sentences here as examples. The president travels regularly to his constituency. This is our first sentence and the second sentence is the president regularly travels to his constituency. Just have a look at these sentences, read them properly and you will find the sentences are the same with only one difference that is the use of regularly these adjuncts. Yes, dear friends, in the first sentence, we have placed it after the verb and in the second sentence, we have placed it before the verb. Yes, dear friends, this is the most, most important point for us to discuss. This is the most important point for us to understand and to fill. Adjuncts, most of the times, as we have said, they qualify, they modify either the verb or a verb phrase or sometimes a whole sentence. That's why they are treated as adverbs. So, their position is equally important where to place them. The president travels regularly to his constituency. Obviously, it doesn't mean the same when you say the president regularly travels to his constituency. There would be a difference in meaning and sometimes these adjuncts also appear in the frontal position like this. If I say in the morning, I have had a cup of tea. So, in the morning, it has come to the beginning, at the beginning of the sentence. That means, it is a, it's a frontal position adjuncts. Adjuncts use in the frontal position. So, there also the position of adverbs and the rules must be followed. Like here, you have to use a comma. Without this comma, the sentence will not mean anything. If I do not have the comma here, in the morning, I have had a cup of tea. 
it won't mean anything so when you are writing down also you have to understand that adjuncts when used in the frontal position must be supported with proper punctuations so it's not sufficient to know only what adjunct is because what adjuncts are it's very easy we don't have to think a lot about it we don't have to uh, learn some rocket science about it it's very simple these are but extra informations which if dropped the basic construction the basic structure and the basic sense of the sentence won't get disturbed that's it it might be an adverb it might be a phrase or a clause so that's all about adjuncts but their uses is very important you have to stay cautious regarding the position of the adjuncts because with the change of their positions there would be a change in the meaning as well so this is but only a uh, in an introduction this is an introduction to our discussion of adjuncts with shift to its detail and with other components obviously ask me what you want to have here in this discussion in shiksha mantra and obviously i would follow your comment i would follow your directions and would produce our discussions here in the same line following my very very dear subscribers and viewers so that's all from this discussion now we are returning very soon with a fresh discussion until then bye bye happy learning